art and culture tells a story for many different people in the world that may not have an avenue to create their own stories. Edinburgh International Culture Summit is a real first for the world. It's a great opportunity to bring together culture ministers uh, to talk about the international opportunities and the international collaboration that we can have. For a Minister of Culture to come to the Edinburgh Festival and to have an opportunity to, to discuss his or her particular perspective about culture is a great opportunity. We also want to have other voices in that dialogue. You don't want to really be discussing cultural policy and cultural issues in the absence of artists. And of course, what Edinburgh has in August are thousands and thousands of artists of, of every walk of life. The theme of this year's cultural summit is connecting people and places uh, at which culture does so well. Culture is a really powerful way of reaching out and bridging across those interests and finding ways of connecting people. I would say culture is probably has unparalleled potential in that, in that respect. As politicians, as you can imagine, we have an outward view in the world, a very international outlook, and we want to not just share our ideas but learn from others. Uh, this is the home of the Enlightenment. Uh, we do want to challenge people with ideas. So Edinburgh is a city of ideas, Scotland most definitely is, and we like to debate and discuss. So we think that we have a great story to tell and we have a great context in which to discuss one of the most enduringly powerful connecting elements in humankind.